and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And we're going to have a look at a classic Sudoku today. We get a lot of requests for classic Sudoku more often on the channel. We haven't done one for a, a good long while, I think, now. So maybe it's time to address that balance. Um, first of all, a very hearty congratulations to some people who have finished the uh, puzzle hunt, the May reward puzzle, the build your own Sudoku hunt by Matthias Martinka, which was as full of brilliance as anything we've seen. Um, so well done to Ryan Perry, Christian Bitterwolf, Christy Klingert, Paul Tyan, Matthew Noteboom, Michael Smith, Michael Kinsella or Kinsella, Logan Nidert, Richard Breen, Frank Levinson, Jared Wirtzbicki or Wirtzbitsky maybe, <laughs> Rebecca Kreisler, Matt Scanlon, Matthew Brockwell and Andy Spicer. That really is a mammoth effort to get through that puzzle hunt, and I commend you. Um, now, of course, there is loads of other content on Patreon. It is, really is well worth having a look. Simon's solve of the snooker puzzle that we didn't do on the channel is over there. There have been the Star Wars puzzle pack, the, um, the two extra puzzles done in the one-hour setting competitions. Just mind-blowing what some setters can create in one hour. Amazing. You, you really need to look at Sam and Clover's puzzles there, as well as the uh, the one we did on the channel from Teganus, I think. So all of that's going on there. On the link below the video, as well as where to play this puzzle, you can see, if you expand the description, you'll see all of the places where you can go to the Discord server where these intriguing discussions happen, where you can find the Patreon site, where you can find all the locations of our apps. Um, but classic Sudoku. Now we get quite a few emails in from people who seem to think that um, it's our job to solve their Sudoku or they, they've come across a tough one and where they'd like us to do it on the channel. Um, and we don't always do that. Some of these puzzles are just sort of ugly machine generated, non-human solvable puzzles. And uh, they're not really what we're about, I think. So this though has come in, I think it may have been from Sudoku.com, but uh, Yakov Mayer sent this with a very entertaining message about how it was driving him insane after restarting it 10 times. He'd give a lot to see a video solve. So we're gonna give it a try um, and see how it goes. Maybe we can learn something. It's always good to brush up on the classic techniques because basically they apply in an awful lot of the variant puzzles as well. So. Let's give it a try. You give it a go if you like on the link below the video and I'm gonna try now. Let's get cracking. And the basically I'm gonna look for numbers that appear in the same sort of stripe of boxes. So those twos mean there's a two in one of these positions and where I can confine a number within a box, I'm gonna corner mark it. That's how we use our Snyder notation down here. Given those fives, there must be a five in column nine there. Um, ah, six is here actually. Give us a full six in the grid. It can't be there because of that one. And then that's going to push a six up in one of those two places in column eight. Fours are down here somewhere. Try and be a bit rigorous here. Threes are confined to those two cells and sixes down there. Um, two, six, eight. Three. I'm not putting in threes there or twos there because there's three positions and two of them would need to be eliminated to give us progress. So I'm not really bothering with that. One must be in one of those two cells. Oh, and five must be in one of those two, given that five. That might be all that is straight away achievable. Aha, but it's not because look at those two cells. This is basically a naked pair. They can see four, six, two, and eight, all the even digits, as it happens, in the column. One, three, and seven in the box. So those two have to be five and nine. Um, and that means we now know where six goes in this box. Can't be there or there. And we've now ruled out those two. So we can put in the six. The pencil marking lets us do the four and a two. And we've done almost all of box eight. Just a pair remaining now. What does that give us? It gives us two up there, six up there, forming an X-wing with sixes over here. Um, ah, it 
completes this six that we pencil marked earlier. So all sixes are done apart from this X wing now, I think. This has become a naked single. Looking across row seven, where two, three, four, six, and eight have been used in the row, we can see that one and five and seven have been used in the column. So that has to be a nine. Uh, now I'm going to do some of this center marking, as I've done here, where the only two candidates possible, um, that's got to be one, seven, one or seven. This is one, five or seven. It's a sort of triple forming the remaining cells there. Um, what else is there? Ah, well look, this is very interesting straight away. We've got two fives there looking at those two cells. So in column three, where does five go? Well, I don't know, but I do know it's in one of those three cells. And I mean, I can pencil mark that because it is worth something here because it deals with this one. That can no longer be a five. So actually we can make that seven, one here. And now we know this is a five, so I can take out the other pencil marks. And that's a really neat way of getting going there. This one is left to be four or nine. The other ones in this column aren't so restricted. We've still got one, seven, four, and nine to go. And I think they all have three possibilities there. Um, so what else can we find here? Sixes, fives, nine. Ah, oh, look at these nines. And together with that nine, they're ruling out all of those cells in the H shape up here. That's putting nine into one of these two cells where we see we've already put six into one of them. So that's now a six, nine pair sitting uh, in the same box. Now, what does that let us do up there? Not much. I thought that would be more helpful. Um, I'm not going to use the fact that that means these can't be a nine for uniqueness reasons, which I might use in a competition, to be honest. Um, let's just see what else we can find. So, Ah, this cell, this cell is one or three that the cursor is sitting in, the curse of the cursor. Um, and that is really useful because look at these two. Two, six, four, and seven have gone in the row and nine, five in this box. So these are from one, three, eight. That one can't actually be a one. But the point about that is that that's now a one, three, eight triple. And this can't be three anymore. So we can remove the three from there, definitely fill it in here. These last two remaining cells in row four are now five and nine in some order. Um, three, one, two, six, eight. Nine has to be in one of those in box four. So this is four or seven by elimination. This is seven or eight, just saw that randomly. Now up here, four, six, two, eight, and a five, nine pair used. So again, we're looking, is it again, we're looking at one, three, seven, triple? No, it was one, three, eight, triple before. Um, ah, and one of those has to be a seven there because it can't go here. And that's really helpful for this cell that we've just pencil marked. So that becomes an eight. That gives us an eight here. Um, ooh stops that being an eight. No, I don't think I can use that. This is seven or nine from the things it can see. That's four, seven or nine, right. Yes, the fact that this can't be a one is what I should have seen there, I guess, is that one is ruled out of all of those cells. And by that one, three, eight triple we found in row four, it's ruled out of there. So one in box five has to be there. <laughs> That finishes the column. We can put a three in there now, thanks to that six, nine pair that we got earlier. That can't be a three and it can't be a one anymore. So that's suddenly all done. Nine, six, five, one in this box is here. This has become a two, four pair. I can't disambiguate yet. Three in this row can't be in those two cells because there's a three to the south of them both. Um, five and seven there. Now, don't think that's resolved any of these boxes quite. But it 
It's good progress elsewhere now. Five down there. This is two or four, and that one is two, four, or seven. Same as that. Seven, three, four, eight. You can probably see the next move. So much has got disentangled lately that uh, there is probably progress that I'm not picking up. Just takes a while to assimilate everything we've learnt lately. One is in one of those two cells. Five, seven is down there somewhere. Hmm, not quite finished yet. Right, seven is in one of those two. Three, six, nine, two, one, seven. So we've got four, five, and eight. That can't be eight or five. The, that is either 5 or 8, because it can see a 4. That's 4, 5, or 8. 2, 2. Oh, one of these is a 2. I've got to pencil mark that from when I got the 7. Okay. Ah, oh, 3. This might be... Is this the last 3 in the grid? Probably is. Yeah. So in the column, we have 2, 4, and 8 to place. Uh, no. Oh, is that the only place? Yes, look, this is a 247 triple because 8 can't go in those. That is the only place for 8 in box 3. That's probably something I was missing there. 8 in box 1 is in one of those two. That can't be 8. It's 2 or 4. Interesting. The puzzle's still holding out a bit here. 2, 4, 8 there. 3, 8, 4, 7, 6. So, where does one go in this column? I think it's forming a pair with a two here. Yes. Does that finish this off? Six, nine, and five to go in those cells. Oh, well, I mean, yet another triple in row three now. That has to be five, six, or nine from what I was just saying. That forms a triple there. So now these two cells have to be eight and seven, and we can fill those in, and I would think that's enough information to get us coasting home. Five, four, three, seven, one, eight. Yeah, that's become a two. So this is six or nine. I could have done that earlier. Um, let's get rid of the corner marks because I think they're not helping anymore. And people do like to see us tidy up a bit. So I'm doing that now. Um, I'll leave them here actually down at the bottom. Let's Imagine that we've got enough to do this. That is four or nine. Yes, the seven in the column has to be here. Uh, sorry, hit the wrong button. Right, and that's filled out quite a few things. We're finishing box four. I imagine we're finishing box five. Yes. That is column six completed. That's dealt with the six... Um, X-wing that we had. Ah, and something has gone wrong here because that is a clash. Right, let's quickly rewind that because something must have gone wrong here. I decided seven went there. Goodness me, okay, something's gone wrong before this because otherwise four or five does clash with that. Wow, what went wrong here? Mark, what did you do? Um, that 596 triple looked quite good to me. But as soon as I put in 87 there, oh, why does that not have a 4 possibility in it? That looks like the issue. So I'm going to put a 4 possibility in it. I'm going to go back here and say 8 or 7 there. Not 7 here. Now I get to... Uh, tidy up my pencil marks all over again. That's not an eight. Um, right, my apologies there. Must have rushed at that in a way I didn't realize I was even doing. Let's keep going with tidying up the pencil marks. And it's not quite so finished as I thought it was. In fact, I'll leave that six. Well, that's five, six, or nine. The triple did work. 8 and 8 there it gives me an 8 here. And in fact, that 7 thing does work. That is a 7. That is still going to resolve. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think I can allow that 4-5 pair there now. Um, 
Let's just do box five first before we look up to the top. This now becomes a one. And now I've allowed a four into that cell as I should have done originally. That works okay. So a little bit more care would have been useful there. Two seven pair there gives me a four. That's become a one, two there. This is not a five. So let's remove the pencil mark now. Nine there fixes that right there we go. Sorry, in the wrong mode. Six, five, nine, six, nine. And that all looks better. Now, continue in box seven. This has become a nine. One there. Two and four down here. Two, seven, and five. Ooh. Are we not finished now? Yes, that's big, that five nine has been resolved. So this has become a naked single two, and that will get us home because that fixes the two seven pair at the top. This is, it doesn't fix it that way around. It fixes it that way around. What is wrong with me today? Five there, nine one six, three two five. That's become a four. Yeah, that looks right. Eight and seven there two and four pair and another two and four pair and that's the correct answer i hope that's helped you yakov um thank you for sending the puzzle in that was quite an interesting one lots of lots of triples to find there um starting with the one three eight spotting that five could had to go in those three cells in column three was very helpful um, and then the rest wouldn't have been too bad if i hadn't tripped up with that cell and my pencil marking of it. But there we go, that's the solution. Um, hope that was helpful to you. That is how to do one of the harder um, classic Sudokus that you see and uh, some useful techniques. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.